we are in New Mexico now. And uh, so the time has changed because Arizona doesn't do daylight savings. We just lost an hour. At least it'll make us feel better about wanting to go to sleep at 7.30 at night. Yeah, really. <laughs> it'll be 8.30. It'll be 8.30. I would cut through the hills here and we come into a town called Animus. And I think I mentioned that if you're coming this way, you definitely want to get gas in Animus. It's the last place within the wide radius of Portal. And you want to be able to explore around Portal, portal and such. So, like I said, we're headed to Columbus. We will probably tour around Hashida. I think it's got a great old church, as I remember. We'll see you in a little bit. Well, we are now coming through the town of Animus. And we actually just passed the only gas station, the one you want to hit if you come through here. Like I said, it's 24 hours. The hardware store behind it doesn't have to be open. They use the gas pump. So we're going by the high school now, if you didn't see the sign. Not a whole lot here, but some interesting old buildings. Of course, we're looking for food. Kind of a cool building straight ahead, ruins of the building. I had gas, groceries, and cold beer. Let's go look closer. Yeah, it was obviously a nice adobe building there. You can see here on the side, the exposed adobe. Look at the snow cat Chiricahua's back there. Cowboy church, it looks like. First, oh, it's First Baptist church. Got a cowboy with a horse there on the side. I thought it was one of the cowboy churches. But as we go down here along this road, and I, I can't remember if it's through Columbus or not, um, we will be driving along the border. This road, number nine, New Mexico 9. Yeah, New Mexico 9 runs along the border. I mean, literally almost probably only 50, 100 yards in some places. We're coming up to the uh, town of Chita now. I don't know if we're going to get out anywhere. We might. But I think Carol's too hungry to stop for long. This is true. I don't do well with hunger. Food mart and garage, I guess. <laughs> Look at, there's the cafe. It hasn't been open in a while. Yeah, I just thought we'd... I saw some cool, like, old homes or houses or whatever. Partial brick, partial adobe. Yeah. Tin roofs. I don't know if this garage here goes with it, but you can see the exposed adobe. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. And there's another adobe house coming up here. Right. Look at the house with this got um, pomegranates still. I don't know that anyone's living there, and I don't know if they're not, because there's some cars here. They didn't, they didn't harvest their pomegranates. Adobe home here. Yeah, Might just be working on this. Yeah, hard to say. Anyway, you gotta love the tin roofs. And this time, they are roofs. When I was in the uh, old hotel that had the tin ceiling, I kept saying tin roof. Great old adobe homes here. There's a new one. New home here. Hasn't been much on the other side of the road. I don't know what the uh, dairy type of thing, oil dairy type of thing is all about. Could that have been the water tower? Yeah, it could be a water tower. And there's a home that's pretty ramshackle back there, say. Well, we're going to get close to it, so doesn't matter. We can go into that one, probably. Go through the floorboard. I'd be chewing your leg off out of hunger. Looks like it is all wired for electricity. Oh, that's the water tower over there. Coming up on the post office. Or just a, a patriotic person. Yeah, the ladder. Good morning. Old school over here. And this church. Look at these. The stone wall. Stone wall and the lantern things. Oh man, those are so elaborate. Yeah, it's pretty amazing rock work, or whatever it is there. Mosaic kind of thing up there on the steeple. Get to this thing over here on the right. Take the circular drive here. 
Another cool old adobe. Got the range back in the kitchen. Does it? Yeah. Okay, well that was the town of Hachita. And we will now be headed to Columbus, which is... <laughs> there was a, a toilet sitting under a tree back there with a sign that said Hachita Rest Area. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, so Columbus, let's see, may tell us, 44 miles. Yeah. Um, they have to break into the other bananas. All right. We'll see you there. McDonald's, McDonald's <laughs> 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 We are coming into the town of Columbus. And I don't know if we caught it, but when we were in Hachita, as we were going out, Harold saw a toilet next to a tree, <laughs> and it said Hachita Rest Stop. Just the toilet, not the, not a toilet like, you know, in an enclosure, just the actual porcelain. And then as we drove out, somebody had had a couple of golden arches just on a post. Clearly stolen from an actual burger place. Somebody in Hachita has quite a sense of humor. So off to the right is the campground. Do you want to go find a platter? Um, well, there's, looks like there's a lot of people in there. Is that a yes or no? Yeah, we probably need to. I mean, I don't want to. I'd rather go eat because that's me. That if we come back and can't find a place, the visitor center and campground. We'll come back uh, once we find a spot. Well, we got a spot. They're still on the reservation system here, but you know, the sites are kind of closed and all. We'll uh, we'll do more of a tour later. Right now, we're going to go find something to eat, or Carol chews off the rest of this ham. <laughs> I get a little hangry. Took her two times to get this far. <laughs> actually, never been down here. Yeah, didn't even know they had a historic downtown. <laughs> it's Broadway Avenue. So they do have a cafe here. There's a number of cars parked here, which I'm hoping is a good sign. Hard to say. Is that an open sign? Well, we have no idea what this place will be like. However, we don't care. We don't care. We're here at the Patio Cafe. And I've met a nice gentleman here. What's your name? Tommy. Tommy is out here helping. Tommy Tophead is where I sign my artwork. Right. Tommy Tophead? What kind of artwork you do? I do sculptures, small miniature, large. I just putts, really, but cool. I make a lot of. Oh, cool. All right. I play. Yeah. Find sticks like this, man. Oh, cool. All right, well. So Tommy's been helping me decide what table to get here, and Carol and Trigger, I think, went out to uh, make sure Trigger has relieved himself. <laughs> well, I just finished eating here at the Patio Cafe, and Carol's back there finishing, and I thought I'd walk around the street here. But I will say this about the patio. The uh, food, we had, it's mostly burgers, in fact, I'm not even sure if there was anything else on the menu other than burgers. So it's mostly burgers, and um, I had the green chili burger, and it was excellent. But let's take a look at the street here. And uh, I guess we would have to call this Downtown Columbus, New Mexico. <laughs> oh, so I have no idea what this is. Kind of interesting little head up there. The little blue globes. Statue of Liberty. But I have no idea what this is. Can't really see anything the other way. Can't tell if something opens. Maybe it's, maybe it goes through to the other side. I don't know. Tumbleweed Theater. And a lonely little building right there. Another building, what is this? Oh, the Chamber of Commerce, maybe. Columbus, New Mexico. Walk around here. Interesting. Looks like a can opener or something. Made all these serrations on these T 
geese here. Oh, and tire treads. Oh, so these are maybe made out of tires turned inside out, huh? Well, that's an interesting way to make something, I guess. Oh, and the chilies hanging back here on the post. So apparently a lot of people do snowboard there. Snowbird here in uh, Columbus, but uh, I think it gets kind of chilly here in the winter. But then again, I guess if you're from Michigan or somewhere like that, Tommy said that uh, he says, Yeah, our cold weather is like the spring there back where he's from in Michigan. So I guess it's all a matter of perspective. Yeah, so I kind of walked around the block here. And this is the Los, really hard to read with the Los Milagros, Milagros, yeah. Hotel, not motel, hotel. So, yeah, interesting. I guess it wouldn't be bad, the little rooms there. So I'm gonna walk up here, cause it goes to the back of that funky place that we were looking at with the, uh, Statue of Liberty hand. I have no idea what this place is. It's not a house. Doesn't look like. It's got those columns there. Let's see if I can lift it up. And there's another Statue of Liberty kind of lamp thing. Huh. Kind of cool. Yeah, there we are. The back of the patio cafe here. Was this Irma's bright colors and such? Carol's probably wondering where the heck I went. Nice little park. Now, my new friend Tommy said he thought that the town might be uh, about 6,000 people. And that's probably just all the neighboring areas. Yeah, nice little park. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. They have the handicap ramp. Yeah, handicap ramp goes around here. Get up onto the stage here. Walk back down here to the patio cafe. Couple gentlemen sitting here in the park. Very nice, you know? Nice and quiet, that's what I like about it. Overall, it's very nice and quiet. Well, we were driving down the road and we saw this building. And at first I thought that was a camera tripod there on the side and the left. But then that board down there looks like it has switches on it. Let's see if we can zoom in. And then you can see the foundation to some building and have no idea what that thing is. It's not switches, it's latches, I think. Yeah, a tower that's been tipped over. Has a light at the top? Yeah. Let me get out and look. So now I'm out by this tower. And uh, yeah, you know, here's one of the old uh, signal lights. Probably recognize them more, like from the side here. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, almost like uh, the kind of lights you might have at an airport. And this was an airport at one time. Well, I shouldn't say there was an airport. They had the biplanes from the Pancho Villa time. Pretty much the guts are disappeared. I don't know, kind of looking at that, it kind of reminds me of the old uh, tail gunner's window with the spokes like that. And the museum's right over here. I don't know if we'll hit the museum today or tomorrow. Or at all. I guess we can hit it tomorrow. We have reservations tomorrow. Slight change in plans, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, so I saw this uh, thing over here. Uh, <laughs> two things here. Kind of got them a little bit when, uh, you know, we were driving by, but uh, let's take a look at these. I have no idea what this is. If you know what it is, let me know. Now, let's see. That one. 
has something on the top. Almost looks like it could be a light bulb stand there. Maybe it was some kind of lamp. No idea. And then the foundation here. And then here's that box at Swissvale, Pennsylvania. T-U-S and S Company. Looks very familiar to me of seeing these along the side of the tracks, places, boxes like this. And here's another little funky thing. Like I said, I thought it was a photographer's tripod sitting there. That'd be one hell of a tripod. But again, maybe somebody knows what this is. I have no idea what this is. All right, we're gonna head back to camp. We're gonna be off for Showerland. <laughs>